is the Woody Show. It is Wednesday morning. Seabass is out. He's got the flu. He went and uh, got tested yesterday. He's got influenza B. Uh, I said, uh, so what's it look like? He's like, I might try to come in tomorrow. I'm like, what did the doctor yeah. say? Yeah. He goes, uh, I'll probably be contagious for about uh, four, maybe five days. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. See you then. Yeah, don't come back. Bye. Don't get us sick. So we do this every once in a while when uh, one of us is out. Give everybody else a chance to uh, vent and talk some smack <laughs> behind that person's back. This started with Greg. Greg was actually uh, on his way to a, a, a <laughs> funeral. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I actually, so I was listening to the show. I heard it live. I'm like, oh, this is going to be funny. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Greg. <laughs> oh, I Greg was, was so upset. I was upset. Yeah. But we've all had our turn. And right. uh, today it's Seabass's turn. And today, because... Menace and myself, Greg, Ray, we all say what we need to say to Seabass in the moment. Yeah. Like, on the daily. No, nobody holds back and waits till we have a talking smack behind his back segment. Right. We tell him to his face that he's balding or oh, yeah. that he's a weirdo yeah. or Psychopath. creepy. He sucks. Dude, Antisocial. Sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, but the people who work behind the scenes, people like uh, Julian, the phone screener, or Randy, or Bort, or Danielle, the board op, people in the, in the office and the promotions department or the sales department, they don't really get a chance to do any of that. So that's who we're focusing on today for this round of Talking Smack behind Seabass's back. Uh, and we will start with the people who work closest with him on the show here. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right, Bart. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah. Brett is our production guy. He uh, works in a, in a studio just right, right, right around the corner from where our on-air studio is. And he uh, gets to deal with Seabass a lot behind the scenes for uh, different audio and yeah. production purposes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I like to think of Seabass as like um, Jeffrey Dahmer, pretty much. You know, uh, he's so weird that he'll actually talk to me on chat as opposed to coming into my room to talk to me. He'll go down the hall to type on a computer instead of just turning the corner and say, hey, I need you to do this. He'll do that so for everything. Yeah. Everything. And, you know, not to echo what Menace says, but part of me does think, you know, Seabass is a bit of a glorified street guy, to be honest. I don't know if he deserves the EP title some days. Some days I'm writing a lot of emails to people, and I'm like, you know what? The EP um, is uh, executive producer. Yeah. This might be my title. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. And uh, you know, also, I I dread when you guys were gone. When you guys are out of town and you're at a you know another station or doing an event or something, I dread when you guys are gone, because for someone that has a degree in whatever chemical engineering, he has, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and he's a member Allegedly. of Mensa, he cannot run this board to save his life. <laughs> <laughs> Every commercial break, is, Bort, get on in here. Bort, fix this. Bort, what's going on? And I'm like, learn the board. Yeah. All right. What's wrong with you? All right. Well, there's, uh, there's Bort talking smack behind Seabass's back. Yeah, thank you. Bort holding back. All right. Who, uh, <laughs> Excellent. Who, wants to, who wants to go next? I'll go, I'll, I'll go next. All right. Go Randy. Next. Randy. Randy. Randy runs our cameras. He is our uh, video producer. Also, uh, the man who brings us the Millennial Movie Review. Mm -hmm. And he goes right. out and about with Seabass. He does. He a spends lot. A, he yeah. spends a lot of time with Seabass, like maybe doing some camera work or whatever when Seabass is out on the street. Uh, doing some of his bits. So, uh, Randy, talking smack behind Seabass's back. Yeah, I probably spend the most, like, I guess, alone time with Seabass, being like, helping with camera stuff, <laughs> or too. I'm in the, you know, the, the office, the office yeah. switching, and he's right there. And there's a few things he does that uh, really kind of irk me or just weird. Like, the first time I ever really noticed something was off about him was probably when I was an intern, and he sneezed. And I was like, oh, bless you, man. He's like, uh, no. No, no right. thanks. No, thank you. No, thank I, we've you. all like, had that happen yeah. to us. Uh -huh. I'm like, no thanks. What do you What do you mean? He's like He's like bless you. It's a, it's a waste of time. I'm like uh, waste. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Also the things he which is so it takes longer to say no thank you than yeah, thank right. you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Extra or, syllable. Or the small. I don't know how he does that. Seabass is also the funniest person to him. Like we'll be going out to something and he'll <laughs> yes. think of, he'll think of like he what he's gonna himself. say. He'll be like um he'll be like oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 Or like, or like another thing too. Like, I'll, I'll come up with. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna say I come up with something awesome, but I'll, I'll come up with a funny idea or I'll pitch it to him. Yeah. Kind of bounce it back and forth, and he'll be like, Oh yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, kind of right. And then during the meetings and stuff, I'll be like, Oh, so I was thinking, and he'll be like, Oh, it's fine, I got it ready. Don't worry about it. And so he takes like, credit so, for so it. So I was thinking, yeah, yeah, he, blah, blah, blah. yeah, he steals ideas. I'm like, All right. well, we yeah. were talking yeah. about this in the car, and then. Yeah, was mm. an idea stealer. Is what he is. Yeah. All right. Well, there's uh, there yeah. is cam, our cam guy. That's Randy. <laughs> Good job, Randy. Randy, the cam right, man Randy. With his talking smack behind Seabass's back. All right. Who's gonna go next? 
Uh, I can go next. Julie and the phone screener. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> well, we all know that she hates him. Oh, she has uh, a list. She okay. Down. Hate is a strong word. Uh, he's okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so I don't know if you all noticed, but randomly throughout your guys' sh- or through the show, he will bring me up. Randomly, just out of mm-hmm. nowhere, be like, oh, well, Julianne knows about that. Or I bet you Julianne can do that. Yeah, or, a lot of digs. Just, yes. Yeah. yeah. All the time. So I hate when he does that because obviously I'm not even around and he can't see me. So why talk about me? Mm -hmm. Um, The next is when people text in anything bad about any one of us, Mm -hmm. he is the one who writes back. And instead of defending his fellow coworkers, he He either, yeah, he piles on, he, um, I don't that know. That annoys he, me too. Like yes. any, some, a lot of times there's something addressed to me specifically and there's already a reply. Yeah, and right. It's and it's always he C-Bass. Right he's saying something right. rude about one of us on the show back to them. But I don't even know what he's saying. I don't like, know either. Yeah, can't see what the it's usually are. just yeah. something really flip like at my dog churro. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Or you know, just yeah. dumb stuff like that. Or people or legit have a question that's already replied and it's like, oh, I don't want to follow your dog or something like that. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, and then about the whole producing thing, he's not a producer. He And Menace is right. He is a street guy. Bort is right. He is a street guy. Not, Never does he go into our studio and help us with anything, um, give us constructive criticism, help us out with anything in, that has to do with the show, ever. He just, when he leaves the studio, he doesn't go help us. He's either taking a crap or he's <laughs> in his studio yeah. and he's listening to audio. Do that at two o'clock in the morning w- morning when you get here, not in between the shows when you should be actually producing. All right. So. Well, there is uh, oh, Julianne yeah. on the phone All screen. Right. You can tell she's uh, put a little thought yeah. into what she Oh, wait. I have one last one really quick. He is so quick to bash me as a mom all the time. He's never around me. He doesn't see what I do with my kid. But no one's bashing his mom about how she raised such an awkward person. <laughs> yeah. Right? And it's true. No, God, I blame his mom all the time. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the uh, right. Julianne, the phone screener. Oof. All right. <laughs> that leaves, uh, as far as our crew behind the scenes, that leaves uh, Danielle, our board up. Now, Danielle is in the other room. She's running uh, a lot of the uh, the controls behind the scenes. Uh, she's like a technical producer, really. Uh, and then Danielle. So what do you got to say behind Seabass's back? All right. I feel like Julianne should have went after me because I'm not going to be as passionate. But (laughs) (laughs) Um, so similar to what she said, I feel like just as a producer, like for one thing, he's never really talked to me. (laughs) So I feel like I should have somewhat of a relationship with the producer of the show, especially considering what I do for the show. And like he doesn't tell me anything. If I have a question, I go to Cameron. Cameron's a better Mm -hmm. producer. Like, if I have a question, I'll ask Cameron. He'll get me the answer, and he'll tell me. Like, I I don't even feel like I can ask Seabass a question. I feel like if I did, he'd just be like, oh, yeah. yeah. And just like, <laughs> 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 like, that's all he does. It just, it just bothers me because I'm like, you're the executive producer. I should be able to. You're the go-to of, person for yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Any of us should be able to ask you something and get an mean. answer. Yeah. And, like, the fact that all of us say that we feel like we can't do that i think that's kind of odd um and you can't get <laughs> yeah. a straight answer no. yeah you no. can't. Okay, hey seabass like, uh is the new animated podcast ready for tuesday should i let woody know that it's ready uh, uh yeah 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 yeah, exactly. good, yeah, anime, yeah like is that a yes or are you trying to be funny <laughs> yeah like why can't you just answer uh, exactly and then like similarly with um if i i think you guys have talked about this just randomly before but if i I don't do really do it often, but if I tell him good morning, just if I'm feeling nice that day, he doesn't. He either doesn't say anything, or he's just like, "Yeah," like as he's looking that's, at the that's floor. That's the response. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like keeps walking, and like he's so awkward. If I'm walking past him, he's like trying not to be anywhere like within three feet of me. Or he'll yeah. turn around and go yeah. the other way. He'll do yeah. the side True. airplane thing where he stands to the side yep. and his arms. Yeah, are out. he like yeah. goes all the way like to the wall so he doesn't mm-hmm. have to like walk. In your past. Remember like. last week, Ravy and I were getting coffee, and he was hiding behind a pillar yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to avoid us. He's such a weirdo. Uh, we have to give the associate producer, Fake News Cameron, <laughs> a chance to oh, wow. a, a chance to uh, respond. This I can't is wait. my favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to start with a low blow because of the receding hairline thing, because balding is a serious <laughs> issue, and I think we need to pray for him about that. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to skip over that. But everybody kind of covered this. He's a terrible communicator. Yeah. 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 
Before I started working here, I have this email still. I'll have to pull it up for you guys sometime. It's like paragraphs long, and I was like, okay, this guy's a professional, and he's nice. And yeah. I thought when I got here that he'd be welcoming. Mm. I literally have spoken maybe five words to him in the past year and a half. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. I, th I still don't know where half the stuff in this building is because I was never given a tour, never introduced to any salespeople, nothing like that. And then when we have events... <laughs> I can't even find tickets or how to get there or anything like that. Totally. Yeah. Because there's no information that's passed along. I hate when he talks about his dating life. Yeah. Because it's 2018 and anybody that has a pulse can get a date. If you're True. just swiping on the app. <laughs> yeah. 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 True. Preaches like he can get one like nobody's business. When he's probably only been with five people and he dresses like a fifth grader and <laughs> has a first grader's haircut. There's that Velcro cheese. Like, <laughs> He's unaware that they invented hair products. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and he makes fun of my appearance all the time, which I'm whatever about. But again, I, he has nothing to brag home about. <laughs> I don't understand that. And then, worst of all, He's so obsessed with all of us. Like, he goes mm. home at night, and his only thing that he does at home by himself has to be Facebook stalking us or thinking yeah. about us or whatever. And, like, anytime <laughs> he finds mm. something, like the when we found out I was a child actor and we shared yeah. the headshot yeah. or whatever, he acted like that was information I was, like, hiding in a safe somewhere, and he <laughs> found it, and he won the jackpot. It's on my Facebook! Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's interesting. You uh, didn't uh, find anything. Yeah. So, assuming that what you're saying is true and he is obsessed with us when he's not here, you would think he would spend more time talking to us while he is here. Right. But he doesn't. Right. He just spends all his time... No, he's online a lot just looking yeah. for negative stuff because I see it. I see his interaction. And I know Menace yeah. will feel me on this one. It drives me nuts when he pretends to be an expert about everything because anytime Absolutely. a question is asked, everything. we can see him Google everything that he's been asked. Yeah. So he's constantly looking stuff up, which is funny because he accuses me of fake news all the time. But he asks, he relies on like Wikipedia and Google for everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's uh, talking smack behind <laughs> Steve Austin's back. Thank you to all the participants. We'll yes. take a break. It's the Woody Show.